Good evening. Is there something you want to learn, but you keep putting it off? Study pack is for you. What is the big problem with study? It's motivation. How to keep on track with your study goals over a long period of time. Did you know that online course systems like Coursera have only a 5% completion rate? At StudyPact, we help our users to an astonishing 85% completion rate for their own weekly study goals. And for those of you who already have the motivation, I have something for you as well. Let me show you StudyPact. StudyPact works on your computer and on your phone. This is my phone and it's full of distractions trying to stop me from studying. Imagine if you could go one year back in time and exchange only half of the time that you spend watching TV, playing games, reading tech in Asia, and instead <laughs> use it for studying. By now, you could be well on your way to fluency in another language. Enter Study Pact. One of my favorite holiday spots is Spain, but my Spanish is terrible. So I'm going to sign up for a pact on Study Pact for three hours of studying Spanish every week. And I'm going to put up $50 to make me keep my pact. But what is risk without reward? That is where you come in. Everyone that makes his pact on Study Pact is going to get paid by Study Pact. Sorry for the slides. Here. So that's right. The money I lose when I don't study goes to you. This is our main screen and it shows me I have three hours left to go this week. For my Spanish lessons, I'm going to use Duolingo, which is, by the way, an excellent language learning app. Take note that in the top left corner, it is tracking my study progress. Let's see how far we got. Oh yes, two minutes closer to fluency in Spanish. Hasta la vista. We have released the beta on the Android Play Store and we're seeing early and nice feedback from our users. We have integrated with the top 20 most used study apps and we're adding more as our users request them. This beta was released one month ago and we're seeing nice and steady growth. On average, we're making a revenue of $1.50 per user per week. This includes the users that are successful, which never get charged. To date, that is $350. And take note that our cut and commission is 50% of that. The other 50% get paid back to our successful users. With a success rate of 85%, we are the missing link to make e-learning work. So who are we? I'm very lucky to be able to work with two highly successful people. We have Paul, our marketing and design genius. He has a half-finished PhD in UI design. And he's a member of the ME310 teaching team at Stanford University. We have Evan, our mobile app developer. If it fits in your pocket, he can make an app for it. Actually, just recently, one of his free apps reached the number one download spot at the Japanese iTunes store. And lastly, we have myself. I'm the big data expert with a passion for behavioral design. I have been programming since I'm 10 years old. Together, we are study pack. Originally, we met in Kyoto, and we're now part of the Open Network Lab Accelerator and live and work together in Tokyo. This is our market, the EduTech market. It is predicted to double until 2017. So how do we take our three-person startup to world domination? Let me tell you. StudyPact is not only a great app, but also a platform. A platform that measures and analyzes your study habits across all study apps. And we will use this data to find new and better ways to motivate you to study. I believe in 10 years' time, Studying will be just as fun and entertaining as mainstream games like Candy Crush is today. Now put your money on Study Pact.
You can find us at booth number one or on tech list. Thank you. Our target users and what kind of courses are you looking at? Our target users are users that are trying to form long-lasting study habits. So we're still talking to our current user base to figure out what is it exactly. But in my opinion, we're still small. So in my opinion, we are mostly targeting users that are like um, they have the motivation. Like I think everybody in here to get started, but the hard part is to stick to something. Um, it's probably uh, the specific question, younger people in their, like, who use technology for their studies. I don't have a better answer yet. Um, I just want to clarify that I understand this. Your business model is really based on laziness, right? I mean, if you have really hardworking people, you're not going to make any money, is that right? Um, well, if you say it in a yes or no question of, like, there is no lazy people, then that is true. But this is a continu is continuous, right? So the more successful we get in motivating people, the more attractive our solution becomes. And the more people we will get. Because there is a big mismatch between what content providers are currently being able to like, attract in terms of um, retention and what, what we can give them. So if we would reach 100%, then there is a lot of business development opportunities where we can reach out to, let's say, Coursera or other providers like that. So you make uh, your users currently, you're saying they make uh, one dollar and fifty cents for you every week. Correct. Right. And um, how long do they last before they stop? Um, you have any data on that? Um, because we launched only one month ago, that data is very unreliable. Okay. On the retention. So, yeah, that makes sense. So let's say you let's just say for discussion's sake, like they save you for eight weeks, right? And it makes you eight times. Uh, so you make six, well, you save twelve twelve dollars. So for customer acquisition, what are your thoughts on acquiring customers for less than twelve dollars a user? Um, so far, we're focusing on a viral model. Like we have not spent any money on marketing. We only thing we have done is uh, post on Reddit, which is a marketing channel. But we're planning to integrate viral features that they can get motivated on the social side with having their friends compete with them and we're trying to build that into like the core growth engine. So the current amount of users they cannot invite their friends yet? Not yet. Mm. Well, I, I mean just, just a bit of point feedback. It's, I think it's useful to figure out what kind of partnerships you can make with your course partners so you can acquire users for free from off them, you know? So they can, well I'm signing up for Udemy already. From Udemy I use StudyPack because otherwise if you're going to rely on paid acquisition, you're going to need a lot of money to do that. Oh, thank you. How long have you been at this? How long have you been doing this? Study Pact? Yeah. Um, I found the idea about one year ago, and I got started building a prototype straight away, which took me only three weeks. The hard part was figuring out the paperwork to get a payment processor. We then launched a prototype, that still was me, launching this prototype, which was only integrated with one study application and got us our first users that were willing to put up their credit card data. And from there we joined the Open Network Lab Accelerator in January and I got my team on board who joined me in January and we launched this Android application one month ago. So, um, you're trying to optimize the way people uh, learn through mobile education app. Right. So, are you depend on the size of the market of this mobile education, and do you know what kind of size is there? Do we depend on the mobile market? Um, mobile education. Yeah, we are planning to raise up a run route not right now, and we want to use that to expand upon like further from the Android to iPhone and as well desktop and browser. So that will be not the limiting factor. So our goal is to be able to allow you to use any like app or platform for your studies that you want. It's quite convoluted to me, you know, because first you, I think you will try if people are less motivated to study and then, you know, you make money because they are lazy like what Vincent said. But yet, on the other hand, you know, people who want to go and study, they must be motivated, you know, to do that study. So one comment I, 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 or suggestion is that, uh, you know, I think the parents will be very interested in wanting their kids to study. 
and the parents will be happy to you know deduct from the child's you know pocket money if they don't study. But the only way to do that, you know, they could use your and you can use your app, you know, to help them, you know, fulfill that. So you might want to consider, you know, uh, having a third party to come in, you know, to provide that motivation. Thank you. We've gotten that feedback before and um, so far because I can relate to that better. We're focusing on people that have the motivation themselves to get started but know that they get distracted on time. As a, as a reference, I live in Japan and I like to also study Japanese and um, I know a lot of people who want to study more Japanese. So what they do, their current solution is signing up for a Japanese language school where they go on the weekends. And they tell me, they don't need the teacher, they don't need the content, it's all available for free. And they can do it themselves, they're not stupid. But they know if, they, if there's no feedback, if there's nothing coming, then over time they will stop. And that's why they do it. And they spend money on the school just because of that. And we can give them a solution that gives them the feedback. Excellent, thank you very much, Toby. Thank you. Toby from Study Path, everybody. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really